Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, Rastus gets the graph of an example of a function f that satisfies the given conditions. We have the limit as x approaches 0 of f of x is equal to negative infinity, the limit as x approaches negative infinity of f of x is equal to 5, and the limit as x approaches infinity of f of x is equal to negative 5. So if we're sketching here in the xy plane, we just have to create a general function. We don't have to have any specific things except these three limits. So if you have the limit as x approaches 0 of f of x is equal to negative infinity, then that means we have at x equals 0, which is the y-axis itself, we have a vertical asymptote, right? So normally we draw asymptotes, dotted lines, but it's sort of going over the axis, so there's not too much of a need to do that. What we're saying is as x gets closer and closer to 0, the value of the function is getting closer and closer to negative infinity. And what that practically means is that as we get closer to this line, the value of the function goes down off of our graph in terms of what we can actually see off to negative infinity. We also have these two uh, limits which are describing what the function does as x goes off to infinity or negative infinity in both directions. So as x goes to infinity, the value of f of x equals negative 5. So if we just say arbitrarily that this is a y value of negative 5, then here we have a horizontal asymptote and over time, our function is going to approach that asymptote as it gets closer and closer to infinity, right? Going off in the positive direction. We also have the limit as x approaches negative infinity is equal to five. So positive five would be up here, another horizontal asymptote, and it would go off like this. And just for the sake of demonstration, show we can actually cross an asymptote as long as we're getting closer and closer to it as time goes on. And this is just an example of a function f which satisfies these given conditions.